Okay, so welcome again um, to our Tuesday night yoga. And tonight we'll go through a little bit of everything. Um, we'll start with some standing postures and we'll end with some nice relaxing postures on our seats and on our backs. Um, but yeah. When you're ready, I just want you to come up to stand. Once you're at the very top of your mat, I want you to have the feet touching, if you can. I'm just going to face this way so you can see maybe a bit better. If it's very difficult for you to have your feet together, have them a bit apart. You just want to have your kneecaps pointing straight forwards in line with your hips. Now, for today, Keep your ears, your shoulders, shoulders, hips, and your feet in a nice line. We'll start in mountain pose. So this is a very advanced posture, actually. It's standing nicely and um, in order, they say, in um, yoga. So we start always from the bottom of the body, starting from the heels, pressing them down from the insides, outsides and the middle and start rooting down through the pads of the feet so the arches of the feet become wider and for today ground down through the big toes those are your grounding toes the second and third toes too the fourth and fifth toes are the toes now use your imagination lift the middle of your feet up your legs up through the spine and the top of your head Lengthen your fingers down towards the ground so your arms are toned, not stiff or loose. You can even give them a little shake. And just start breathing through your nose here. Breathing in to your nose, chest towards the belly button, imagining from the belly button, chest out through the nose. Let's go through three half sun salutations, okay? I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see better. With an inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Look up to your hands. If it's too much, have your arms apart and you can even look forwards. Now fold forwards, place your hands on the ground. And just come to your end range of motion. If that means placing your hands on your legs or bending your knees, you're welcome to. Now extend through the spine, lift your head, your chin and chest, lift your stomach. Exhale, fold forwards, bring your head closer to your legs, press down through your feet equally and feel a nice stress throughout the muscles of the legs and the back of your body. Now reach your feet down, stand all the way up, reach your arms up, look up to your hands, take a deep breath in. Arms down by your sides, back to mountain pose. Awesome, two more times. Reach your arms all the way up, look up to your hand. And fold forwards, place your hands on the ground or your legs. Inhale, lift your head, lift your chest and stomach. Exhale, fold forwards, bring your head closer to you. Now, arms down by your sides, breathing out. One more. It says the internet is unstable, but it's good now. Do it again one more time. Reach your arms all the way up. Take a deep breath in. Holding forward. Exhale, place your hands down. Lift your head away from your legs, inhale. And fold forwards, exhale. Stand up, reach up, inhale. That's it. Arms down by your sides, exhale. Good. From here, we're going to Take the feet about hip width apart, okay? You can stay facing forwards. 
Thanks. Ham to big toe pose. Her fingers to big toes. Taking the first two thumbs and fingers, holding on to your big toes with them. If it's too much, you can try bending your knees to get them. If it's still too much, hold on to your legs. And lift your head, lift your chest and stomach. You can stay like this or fold forwards, bring your head down. And then breathe here for about five nice breaths. See if you can press down and through your feet equally. And from the middle of the heels, the pads, ground through the big toes, second, third, balance throughout the fourth and fifth toes. Breathing, nice, equal part breaths, a few more breaths, okay? Feeling a nice big stretch at the back of the body, not too much or too little. All right, uh, lift your head, take a deep breath in, and hold on to your waist, breathe all the way out. Root your feet down and stand all the way up. Take a deep breath in and bring your feet back together, stand still. And you can stay where you are. I'm just going to again change my position so you can see a bit better. Triangle pose. Step your right foot back about a leg length. From here, we'll stay for today. Arms reach over your legs like this, okay? And from here, the right foot's at about a 45 degree angle, left foot's pointing straight forwards. Arms are reaching, take a deep breath in. Keep the length of your inhale and place your left hand on your foot or your leg. Try and keep a nice long spine. And look at one of your hands for about five breaths. Breathe up the spine and down. Or you should feel a nice big stretch in your left hamstring and the lower leg. Three. Nice big stretch throughout the right side too. Two. And one. Look at your left foot. Press both of your feet down nicely and stand back up. Inhale, arms over the legs. And from here, just step your right foot back a few steps further back for extended side angle. We're gonna do the same way, okay? So you're set up the same way, just the legs are a bit wider apart. And take a nice deep breath in. Keep the length and bend your left knee right over the middle of your ankle. See if you can line your knee up with like your second toes, the kneecaps. And from here, you can bend your left elbow and just tilt yourself and place your forearm down on your thigh. Put your right arm up towards the ceiling. This is extended side ankle pose. You can stay like this if you want to try a bit more. You can place your left hand down to the inside of your foot or the outside. You can reach your right arm away from your, your right leg. Look at one of your hands for three more breaths, okay? And breathe up the spine and down for three. Use your body equally. Two. And one. Inhale, come back up. Arms over the legs. Step forwards back to the top of your mat. Stand still. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, now just take your feet about hip width apart. We're just going to shake out the joints a little bit, okay? Lift your right heel up. Just give them a shake like we've done before. Just bounce up on your right heel and let your joints just kind of shake. And lift your left heel up. Do the same. If you want to try it too, sighing um, can be a nice like release too. So take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And just uh, exhale through the mouth like you're sighing. Ah. 
Okay. So we'll switch sides. Just step your left leg back about a leg length and your arms will reach over your legs for triangle pose. Take a deep breath in. Place your right hand on your right foot or leg and look up at your left hand or your right hand. Breathe for about five breaths up and down the spine. For five, that's it. Four. Two. One. Inhale, come back up. Arms over the legs, breathe in. Now step your left foot back. A few more steps back so you have a longer stance. Extended side angle, arms over the leg. And your right knee over your ankle this time. Place your right forearm on your right thigh, reach your left hand away from your left foot. Or you can place your right hand to the inside of your right foot or outside. Breathe for three more. Three. Two. One. Awesome, come back up. Arms open over the legs, inhale. Step forwards and stand still at the top of your mat. Exhale. A few more standing postures, okay? Wide legged forward and step your right foot back and turn to the right side of your mat. So your kneecaps are pointing straight forwards from your hips and they should not be pointing in or too much out. Feet point straight, okay? Hands on your waist, your shoulders over the hips. Inhale. Place your hands on the ground, exhale. Now inhale, lift your head, lift your chest, your stomach, lift your hips off of your legs and fold forwards. Bring your head down for about five. Feel a nice equal stretch throughout the whole back of the body. Four. Three, two, one. Very good. Lift your head up, breathe in. Hold on to your waist. Ground your feet intelligently and step. Inhale. Exhale. One more like this, reach your arms up, inhale. Place your, turn around so you can see my hands. Inhale, then fold forwards for about five. <laughs> and four. Three. Few more breaths if you can. Two. And one. Root down, stand all the way up. Inhale, hold your waist and exhale. Step forwards back to the top of your mat and stand still. One more balance, one more standing. So intense side stretch. You can keep your arms by your sides if you would like a challenge. You can make knuckles and touch them behind your back like this. And then same with the thumbs too. If possible, you can try taking your hands behind you like this. Just try wiggling them up a little bit and bringing your hands together. But if it's too much like this. Now step the right foot back about a leg length. Facing forwards, you can even have less than a leg length as you can see. And take a full breath in. Try 
try and keep your legs long, sides of your body long. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Try and bring your forehead to your left knee and use your feet and legs equally. That's it. Try and stay somewhat still for about five. Four. Obviously, you have to contract to keep yourself up, but relax into it as best as you can. Three. Two. Good. Breathe all the way out. Ground down. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Stand tall but relaxed. Step your right foot forwards. Exhale. Other side, step your left foot back. Inhale, stand tall. And exhale, fold, get small. Bring your head towards your right leg for about five. Try and use your feet and legs equally. Four. Three, nice grand. Two. One, stand all the way up, inhale. Step forwards and stand. Arms by your sides. Okay, let's come into child's pose. So sides of the big pose. Then a bit. So having the sides of the big toes touch, the hips can go towards the heels. If you can get your hips to your heels, you can place the block about mat width if the knee. And from here. If possible, start to walk your hands forwards, your arms are long. You can rest your head in the air or put the hairline onto the ground. But make sure it feels nice, okay? Go little by little, slowly, slowly if you need. We are going to hang out here for about 10 to 15 nice breaths. Ten nice long and slow breaths, or fifteen quicker breaths. See if you can breathe for about five seconds and inhale now, and then five seconds and exhale. Releasing any tension that you feel in your face, your chest, belly, hips and back. Releasing as much tension as you can anywhere in your body. Just imagining, letting it go as you breathe with every exhale. With every inhale, making space in the body, just imagining. This can be a nice stretch for the feet, the ankles, the legs, and the back. If you can calm your mind with your breath. Few more nice breaths here, okay? All right. On your 
next inhale, lift your head, come up into like a quadruped position on all fours. Once you're there, take a full breath in and a full breath out. If you need to shake up the legs a bit, you can just extend one leg back at a time, breathing in, breathing out, and then just switching. Just making some space in the knees. And the legs. Okay, let's go through a few cat-cow movements, just spreading the hands on the ground, pointing your feet straight back. Toes can be tucked under or pointed back. Exhale, rounding your back, flexing the spine, breathing all the way out, pushing the floor away from you. Inhale, extending through the spine, and look towards your nose. Do that three more times. Exhale, round your whole back. And inhale, lift the front of your body. Exhale, rounding. Breathe up to the very bottom of your breath. And inhale, lifting. Looking towards the nose without crossing the eyes. One more time, exhale, round. And inhale, lift. Good. Now come to sit with your legs out long in front of you. Once your legs are out, we're gonna go into um, Upavishta Konasan or uh, Bound Angle Pose. You're gonna take your legs out long. Actually, this is a wide-legged forward bend, not bound angle, oops. But anyways, the legs will be out long in like a V shape. If this is way too much on your back, you sit up onto something, okay? You know, make sure your kneecaps are pointing straight up, not in or too much out for today. Sit up nice and tall. You can stay here for as long as you'd like, or just start to go forwards little by little. Once you feel a nice big stretch for you, you stay, you become still, and then you breathe. Breathe in for about three seconds or five, three to five seconds, even longer. Just try not to pass out. <laughs> and then exhale for about the same amount of time. And breathe with a little bit of sound in the back of your throat. Imagine your breath is saying, making the sound like ah, ah. Keeping the soft palate nice and soft. If you're still nice and still and breathing and you start to find you've made more space in your body with your breath. If you wanna try a bit more, you can dorsiflex the ankles a bit, spread the toes back. As you inhale, as you exhale, you might fold a little bit more, just a tiny bit until you feel something again. Breathe. If this is way too much, bend your knees, okay? You can bend your knees even a lot. It might take tension out of your back, especially if you're feeling a lot of load in one spot, maybe your low back or your legs. Make sure you feel like a nice balanced stretch throughout the whole back of your body. And then using a balanced amount of like tension in the front of your body, relax into it a bit, not too much, not too little. Take a few more nice breaths, almost there, okay? Well, 
one more. Okay. Inhale slowly, slowly, come up. Oh, take a deep breath in. Let's open the mouth, exhale, sigh. Ah. Okay, lean back. Give your legs a nice shake. Shaking it out. If you'd like, you can even try bending your knees like this, having the feet about mat width apart. Just windshield, wipe your legs from right to left. Might even feel nice to go all the way to one side, and all the way to the other. Take a few more movements. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to lie down for bridge pose. Bend your knees like this. Bend your elbows too, so your hands are right over your elbows. Pressing down through the four corners of your feet, your sacrum, your shoulder blades, your triceps, and the middle back of your head, not your neck. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. At the top of the inhale, root down and lift your hips off the ground. See if you can hang here for five full breaths or stay lifted up here for five breaths. For five. Root the ends of your body down to keep the middle up. Four. Three. Just do not root your neck down, okay? Two. And root everything down equally though. And one. Slowly make your way back down. Take a full breath in. Open up your mouth, sigh, exhale. Ah. Hug your knees in towards your chest. If you have bad knees, you can hold the backs of your legs instead. You can stay still or rock around a bit. It might feel nice to lift your head up towards your knees. Okay, let's do it two more times, okay? Place your feet back on the mat, arms back on the ground, head down. Make sure your chin is not jutting back too much. If it is, try and tuck it or even place a little blanket behind it. Lift your hips up for about five. Keep your eyes on your nose. Even if they're closed, relaxing the face, imagining. Three more. Two. One, come down. Hug your knees back in towards you. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's do it one more time, okay? Place your feet back down, root down, lift your hips back up for five. If you wanna try, lift up your toes, your knuckles. Lift your hips up, four. If you wanna try, touch your knuckles and toes down, lift your heels up, three. Lengthen your tailbone forwards towards your knees and your pubic bone. Two, lift the middle of your chest closer to your chin. Bring your chin away from your chest. One, lower back down. Once you're down, nice inhale. 
Nice long exhale. Hug your knees back in. From here, let's move into a twist, okay? Like we did last week, keep your legs in a 90 degree angle. Reach your arms up to the sides. Palms can face up or down. If you don't have much room, elbows are bent. Inhale, imagine you're in like a chair pose. Try and keep the shape and bring your legs over to the left side of your body. If they don't go all the way down, that's okay. You can keep them hanging in space. Or if you have something handy, you can place your legs on them. Otherwise, bring them closer and closer towards the ground without forcing it. You can use your left hand on the outside of your right leg to guide it down gently. You can look at one of your hands or the ceiling. Breathing here up and down the spine, looking at the left hand if it's too much on your neck. Otherwise, if you need a bigger stretch, look at the right hand. Five more breaths. That's okay. Just are a nice way to rebalance and Use your breath. Okay. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Reach your arms back up to the sides, keeping your legs in a 90 degree angle. Inhale. Slowly bring your legs over to the right side of your mat, exhale. And you can look to your right hand or your left hand. You can use your right hand to the outside of your left thigh. Look at one. Three. Two. Um. Inhale, come back up. So hug your knees back in towards you. You can keep your head off the ground or on. Place your feet on the mat about hip width apart. Windshield wipe your legs for a moment, okay? Shaking it out. It might even feel nice to lift your hips up and down a few times like we did in bridge pose. Just quicker movements. Okay, let's try a single leg twist now. Same but different. Hug your right knee in. Keep a 90 degree angle with your right leg too. Then extend your left leg long. Reach your right arm up to the side of your body. Inhale, lengthen. The top of the inhale, take your right leg over to the left side. And look at your left hand to make it easy. Look at the ceiling. Or at the right hand to make it hard for five. And try not to do it too much or too little. Four. Three. Still watching that same breath. Two. 
two. One. At the end of your exhale, come back up, inhale. Exhale. And just start to draw circles with your right knee. You can keep your head on the ground or lift it. Circle in the opposite direction. And then just relax. Legs out long, arms by your sides. Take a nice breath. Hold your left leg in and keep the 90 degree angle in your leg. Left arm out, right hand on the left leg. Left leg goes over to the right. Try and keep your left shoulder down, but if it comes up a bit, that's okay. Just eventually getting it down with a Up and down the floor. Three. Stretch the hips. You might feel nice. Your chest, your shoulder. Very good. Come back up. Inhale. Exhale. Draw circles with your left knee. Draw circles in the opposite direction. One more quick one, okay? Now, place your feet on the mat. Cross your right thigh over your left thigh like this. And lift your legs up. Put your arms out. Take a deep breath in. Take your legs over to the left. Slowly. You can use your left hand on your right leg. Just take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Keep your legs this way. Bring them over to the right. Exhale. Look to your right or left hand for one nice breath. Inhale, come back up to center. Uncross your legs, switch sides, left leg over the right. Take your legs over to the left or the right. Left first. <laughs> Gets confusing once the legs get wrapped up like pretzels. And inhale back up to the center. Exhale, legs over to the left. Inhale, exhale. Come back up to center. Hug your knees in one last time. Maybe taking a few deeper breaths. Really letting go. Okay. Let's get ready to rest. Legs out long. You can start with your feet together if you want to try. Push your heels away from you. Spread your toes towards you. Just let your feet flop out to the sides naturally. Make sure your hips feel nice and comfortable on your mat. Your shoulder blades and the middle back of your head. Palms face up beside you. This feels really uncomfortable. Lay with your feet bent or your legs, knees bent. You can even reach one arm up and rest on that arm. Wherever you are, just closing your eyes for a bit. 
we're gonna rest and just digest this practice. Really rest so you can recover and restore. Just watching your natural breath here. Keep letting go of any tension that you feel. And relax. Let go. Into deep in your breath. If you ever want to stay for longer in uh, this resting position, you're welcome to. Sometimes I even like to stay for 10 or 15 minutes. But if you're getting up, just start to wake up your hands and feet with tiny movements. Wiggling your fingers and toes, circling your wrists and your ankles. And stretching your arms up and back. Let's take one nice deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the mouth. Ah. Bend your knees. Roll to your right side. Please use your right arm as a pillow. Press your left hand down into the mat and make your way up into a comfortable seat. And to end class, let's bring the palms together. When we bring the palms together, we're really like, um, just saying thank you at the end to ourselves and for the practice, really. So thank you so much and namaste.